we have the Hot Ones Boneless Bites. YouTube, welcome to the channel. My name's Jason. Here on this channel, I do food and product reviews and some challenges. We've done some of those. This is kind of a food product slash challenge. The Hot Ones Boneless Chicken Bites, only available at Walmart for a limited time. So if you wanna try this, I suggest getting out to Walmart as soon as possible to pick this bag up. And it was, let me my receipt here. It's the wrong receipt. Okay, got the right one now. $12.97 and it is a 41 ounce bag, 2.56 pounds. And it comes with, so you have, I don't know if it says exactly how many pieces of chicken you actually get in here, a few pounds worth. And then you get three sauce packets, a mild, a medium, and the extra hot last dab. So the three sauces we have in here is the classic hot sauce, which states back here. So there are the three sauces. So we have the classic hot sauce, a heat level of two out of 10. Las Calientes, uh, heat level five of 10. So that one's stepping it up quite a bit. And then the last dab Apollo, heat level 11 of 10. I think I'm gonna have to have me a glass of milk to go along with these. I'm gonna do these in the air fryer. Okay, let me read, they got a little, story back here. I'll read that to you. So if you're not familiar with Hot Ones, um, it's First We Feast presents Hot Ones. It's on YouTube. Um, it's a question and answer kind of. Uh, Sean brings on the host, brings on celebrities, and he asks them questions while they're eating wings. And as he asks the questions, the, the wings step up a notch in sauces. Now this only has three sauces, but if they do, I don't know, 10 or 11 sauces you know, and they get hotter as they go. So it's a fun thing, check it out, fun channel. Check it out on YouTube, check out Hot Ones. Um, some of them are really funny. So we will try it. Again, there's only three sauces in here, but uh, that one sounds pretty hot. Okay, so the little story back here. Hot Ones is a hit series that challenges celebrities to answer burning questions while eating progressively spicier chicken. So like I said, they keep going, they, they take a bite of one and then answer a question. Now you can live the show with the Hot Ones at Home Challenge. This kit includes our breaded seasoned white meat boneless chicken bites plus three of our famous sauces for an authentic Hot Ones experience. Work your way through the mild classic, from the mild classic to the medium Los Calientes to the extra hot last dab, if you dare. And then you can spice up game night, it says. Put your friends and family in the hot seat, play the game of truth or dare with the heat turned up. Take turns asking questions like, the ones below. If someone refuses to answer, the dare is one way ticket to Spice Town. Okay, like some of the questions is, who's the most annoying person in the room? Which celebrity do you think you look most like? What is your most embarrassing moment? Blah, blah, blah. You can come up with own questions. So you can do it as a challenge. You can do it as a little game, but we're just gonna try them out. So let me go and toss, I think I'm gonna cook four of them. So we'll try a plain one and then one with each of these sauces. I'm gonna throw them in the air fryer and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have my air fryer uh, preheating right now. Uh, you cook it at 370. So I'm just gonna show you these, these chicken bites, chicken balls, whatever you wanna call them. These things are huge. Look at these things. That is a big chicken bite. And then here's your sauce. So your three sauce packets, not a whole lot of sauce that you get. And it's a big bag of chicken. And it's, for this, the instructions is take these packets, stick them in hot water, heat them up, because they're frozen and then use immediately. Well, I just wanna eat four of these, so I guess I just use whatever sauce I can and then toss it out, and then for the rest I buy other sauces. I think you can buy some of their uh, Hot One sauces either online from their website or you might be able to find some in the stores. So that's the only thing I don't like is I wish they had one that they gave you more sauce than like the Palo. That's just, I mean, I guess you only need a little bit of it, but if they put it in more like individual like maybe the Apollo have like four or five little or smaller ones. So you didn't have to heat up the whole packet at one. So that's my only point. Let me go toss these in the air fryer. And if you're saying, man, Jason, you're talking really fast. When I get nervous, I think I talk a little faster. I'm a little nervous about the, uh, the last dab there, but we'll see how it goes. Okay, so I have my chicken heated up. I almost think it grew like they got bigger as I cooked them. These things are big, they're gigantic. I mean, compared to normal like chicken nuggets or anything. I mean, these are, they're like the size of hush puppies. Okay, and I have, so I have my chicken here, set that over here. 
I have my sauces. So let's get these opened up. I need more side tables to put all this stuff on. Note to self, more side tables. Okay, so here's my sauces. Get these in camera view so you can see them. And I don't know if they're showing up. You can see this is more of a brighter red over here. These two kind of similar in color. It's just this one has more, as you can see, more stuff going on in it. This is the medium heat, but this is the last dab. This one almost has what, like seeds and I see flakes and stuff in there. This one, nothing. Okay. So keep those in order. Of the sauces we're gonna do. Boom. 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 And since I'm doing notes to self, I need a bigger table too. I've been thinking about that too. Getting a wider one. Okay, so let's try one of these chicken balls. That's a good tasting chicken bite. Quality chicken. Quality chicken. Good breading on there. The chicken itself, all white meat. That's good. I'm having milk, not because it's hot, because I'm thirsty. I should have had some water too. Okay. So let's try one of these with the classic hot sauce, the medium, the medium heat. No, yeah, no, the mild, I'm sorry, another. The classic hot sauce, mild heat. That was the strong smelling one. All right. So typically on the show, hot ones, he'll ask them, you know, they'll start off with a, a chicken. No, you do bone, uh, not boneless. They do bone chicken, you know, chicken wings. And they'll, they'll eat one, then he'll start asking them questions. Not a bad sauce. Um, flavor's not bad on there. It's got some, I'm assuming it's gonna build. Like it's not super hot right now, but I can feel it all around my mouth, all around my tongue right now is just starting to sting a little bit. That's not bad. Let me get a little more of that. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna eat the whole chicken bite because those are big. But that's, If it doesn't build any more than that, that's along the lines of, like the heat in my mouth right now is, oh, let's see, comparable to say, flaming Hot Frito, Cheetos, somewhere along that line, like not too bad. Like I'm not feeling it anywhere else. Am I sweating? I, sh I get, actually, I think I am. Even though the only heat is just on the sides of my tongue, just barely. So it's not super hot. Again, that's a mild, so it's really not supposed to be. But compared to most milds, say you went to Taco Bell or something, got their mild sauce, where you really don't taste any heat in it. That mild is probably like Taco Bell's fire. It's probably about the same heat as their fire. Okay, so now we're moving on to Las Calientes, the medium hot sauce. I like the flavor of that. That's, it's a lot like chichula. And of course now it's gonna be hard to tell because that already had heat. You know, how much is it building? And that's the thing with hot ones as they're doing, I, again, I think they do like 10 or 11 or something. If you know exactly how many wings they do, throw it down in the comments. It's just building. You know, they start off with the little, really mild ones and keep working their way up. Um, yeah, like I said, let me get a little more on there. I like the flavor, the heat in my mouth. I don't know. I don't know if it's really ramping up more. It's, it's staying, I still feel the burn just on the tongue on the sides of the tongue. Now a little bit on the tip of the tongue. Mm-hmm. 
good sauce. I may have to look to get a bottle of that. I like that. <clears throat> okay, the heat is, now it's top of the back of the throat. Not just, uh, not overbearing. It was just, it hit me all at one once. That's why it was kind of hard to talk. Now the tongue is getting a little, that one's got more heat. I'm just going to go to milk. Just try to cleanse the palate a little bit for that one. And because it's starting to suffer a little. Yeah. Uh, heat level definitely up a notch. What was that? They said that that mild one was a two and that's a five. I think those are pretty, pretty accurate. Um, so now I'm worried. I'm, oh man, I'm, I might get, do I, I can't even talk. It's not that I can't talk, I can't think right now. Cause I'm like, in the show, the hot ones, that the last dab is the very end one. And if you watch the show, it never really seems to affect them much. The tip of my tongue is on fire right now. Wow, that sauce is hot. Like it's, it doesn't taste hot. It's a sneaker. It doesn't taste that hot when you're eating it. It's a slow build. Like as I'm sitting here, the tip of my tongue is getting like needles in it. That's why when you watch me do hot, really hot things, like if I do the Packy Challenge or some of those, I can't talk because like my tongue is just like, almost like it feels like it's swollen up and I can't even speak because it hurts so much. So not quite there yet. That's gonna put me over the edge, I know it. So as I was saying, in the show, when they get to the last dab, they usually take their wing or, and just, I think the wings are already kind of coated in it. I'm not sure. If you know, let me know in the comments. But they just, it's called last dab because they just put as much as they feel like on there, just a little bit. Because they have suffered from the one right before it, the bomb, which they didn't give us here. The bomb, like, man, that destroys almost everybody on the show. So when they get to this one, they're just like, okay, this quick dab, boom, and they finish the show. So even though this is the end one, it never, it's not the one that gets them. It's the bomb right before that. So I'm just gonna do, this is called the, the last dab. So I'm just gonna do a last dab. Okay, I guess I can do a little more than that. I mean, it's, it's decent. Remember, this is 11 out of 10. That was a five. My mouth is on fire right now. Uh oh. I'm going to a drink, not because of the heat yet, the taste of that. Ah, oh, that's not a good sauce. That one, Las Calientes, is good. Apollo last dab, not good. It tastes like, it tastes like it has extracts in it. Oh man. Oh, wow. Mm. Oh my goodness. Oh, I was not prepared. I wasn't expecting Cause when I bought it, ice cream sandwich. I don't have ice cream. I just have these. Oh. I didn't read what sauces were in it when I got it. I put too much last dab on there. Way too much. That's hot. My whole tongue. Ugh. And I apologize if I talk with my mouth full of food, because I literally can't sit here right now without ice cream in my mouth. It's so hot. And I'll probably do a bunch of cuts so you don't have to sit and see me su su suffer. 
Oh my goodness. Oh my. Woo! I'm not even gonna try to explain stuff to you till this cools down a little. So I can't even talk. Okay. Hopefully I can talk now. As I was saying, I didn't look when I bought these what sauces were in there. If I would have seen the bomb, not the bomb, the last dab, I might have picked up some ice cream. I didn't even think about that, that they were going to put this hot of sauce in there. I have no joke. Like the mild, like I said, kind of like a fire from Taco Bell. It has some heat to it. Not that bad. Has some heat. That medium, Los Calientes, really good tasting. Heat steps up quite a bit. That nasty tasting and just, man, that'll wreck you. That's why they call it the last dab. All you need is the tiniest dab. I put too much on. Unless you can really handle heat, say maybe you go to Buffalo Wild Wings and you get like their hottest ones, whatever that is. And you can handle it, no big deal. Then you probably can handle that. But if you can't handle really spicy stuff and you want to try this, just do the tiniest bit. Tiniest bit. It's just so hot. Like I said, and it tastes nasty. Oh, that's disgusting tasting. The chicken itself is really good. This is good chicken. I got nervous there when I took that bite. I was like, wait a minute. I hope that didn't have some of that last dab on there. I don't need any more heat. Good chicken. Some good sauces. It's fun. Like I said, if you if you're just getting this to eat, obviously that's why I think they made they made these sauce packets where you just dump them out on a plate. Because they're figuring you're probably gonna do this all in one sitting, even though that's a lot of chicken. Oh, so hot. It could be fun for a game night, but again, be careful with the last dab. If people aren't really used to hot stuff, that can really ruin their night. And you better have some milk or ice cream or something on hand because they're going to need it. But it's fun. Great chicken. Definitely check it out at Walmart. Walmart exclusive for a limited time. So if you want to get it, get out there and get it while you can. And leave it in the comments below and let me know, you know, how did you handle the, the three heats? I'm, my mouth, my tongue, the whole top of my tongue is just needles and a bit of my top of my mouth. Man, it's so hot. It's slowly coming down, but woo, that's no joke. No joke right there. Like I said, leave in the comments below. Let me know how you handled the last dab and how much did you do? Did you coat the whole chicken bite or just do the tiniest bit? I got like close to half of it, maybe not quite half it, a quarter of it. So there you go. If you've enjoyed seeing me suffer with that last dab, smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And I'm gonna go eat my last ice cream sandwich and I'll see you guys next time.